When you hear the movie title American Sniper, certain images come to mind. At least they did for me. And if you're anything like me, you probably think you know what a sniper in the American military does. Well, if you're anything like me, you have no clue. I got a military age male uh, on a cell phone watching the convoy over. If you think he's reporting troop movement, you have a green light. Your call, over. Maybe he's just calling his old lady. <laughs> he stepped off. So the movie American Sniper follows the life of Chris Kyle, the most deadly sniper in American U.S. military history. This man served four tours, four. Keep in mind, like three of those are elective in Iraq, striking up over 160 kills by the time it was all said and done. And as you might imagine, a lot of those were in the heat of some pretty crazy battle. So you're not worried about what might happen? I'm willing to meet my creator and answer for every shot that I took. Don't pick it up. Drop it. So how is American Sniper as a movie for its entertainment value? It's fantastic. This is a powerful movie, okay? Bradley Cooper stars in this movie, and to borrow what I heard someone else say yesterday, he disappears in this movie. About halfway through, you completely forget that it's the same Bradley Cooper you may have seen in other movies. He just vanishes and Chris Kyle appears and throughout this entire movie, you are drawn into this man's story. This guy that could be a neighbor who lives right next door to you. I mean, it's that powerful. And a lot of people are saying Bradley Cooper should get an Oscar for this. I totally agree. It's so well done. You feel, it's like Hurt Locker, if you've seen Hurt Locker, but I'd say in some ways better because it's more emotional. You're more drawn into the story. So where should you see it? Theater or at home? See it in the theater. Please see this in the theater. And if you can, see it in a theater like they have here at the Village Cinema in Meridian, Idaho, uh, where it's the Dolby Atmos, where you have these extra speakers because it's just that engagement, you know, feeling the sound all around you puts you in the middle of the action, puts you right into what's going on. So who should you see this with though? Well, if you haven't figured it out right already, not kids, especially because there's unfortunately violence against children in this movie uh, because frankly there were kids in Iraq that carried weapons against the US military and this guy, guy's job as a sniper was to take out any threat, child, woman, or otherwise. So it's not a kid-friendly movie would be fine for teens as long as they can filter that, a guy's night, a date night, things like that. But understand, it is not a kid-friendly movie in any respect, nor is it a movie that's gonna be very safe for you if you are traumatized by graphic imagery. Because this guy was a sniper, and he did what he had to do, and you see a lot of that. I hope you found this review helpful. I'd love for you to share it with your friends and subscribe on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. You can see all that right here. And until next week, thank you for joining me for reviews for the rest of us. Real people, real reviews, real helpful.